Um, if you can just stay in your car and just, he's acting extremely nervous. So you just okay. want to stay in your car in case anything happens is all. Yep. You guys, that's it. It's 70 West Top Marina. Two spot four headed to Joshua. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We'll be in here today as traffic, and we're going to be in a slip top ghosted 14 charger. Gonna wreck this bad boy out for a little bit. Uh, it's raining right now. It was a huge thunderstorm, but uh, thankfully it stopped. So appreciate you guys coming and check out the video. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the sub, and let's just uh, let's just get out there and go tonight. All right. So there's another emergency just came in. It's uh, work here at the oil pumps at two four five behind the Dollar Pill. Some white guy just pulled up in an all black car, super dark window tint. He got out, put the keys on the tire, and ran off towards the Dollar Pills. So. Um, it's a non-emergency call, so we're just going to continue to head down code one. Not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, we'll pull on through the front of Dollar Pills first to see if we see anything. Which I don't. Okay. Everything's looking fine here. Three Tango 22, 3 Charlie 8. 3 Tango 22, go ahead. Or do you want to go to the car and then I'll swing by dollar pills or are you headed to which one are you headed to? Yeah, three, two, twenty two. I just swung by the front door um, as I was pulling in. I didn't see anything, so I'm uh, heading around to the back side now um, on the back side of dollar pills. Chip four, I'll go over to the reported vehicle. Oh, I think I see it back there. Yeah, 3 Tango 22. I believe I see that black vehicle on the road. It's going to be on Harmony Loop Road between 245 and 246. I think it actually just left. Alright, can you uh, deny that description for me one more time? Yeah, it looked like a black uh, sedan style, maybe like an older style Cadillac, maybe. It was too far away for me to get a full description, but it headed uh, east. Conform on uh, 68 bypass, trying to swing up there. Um, let's see if we see anything back here. 244. Do I see anything or does anyone come up to me? behind dollar pills if i could spell that right that'd be sick it's me again some other guy just ran up and took the car i have no idea what's happening but i don't like it copy i got a construction worker waving me down here at 245 i'm gonna go up to him and approach him oh my god i hit no clip by accident <laughs> Shit. you said it was a black four-door cadillac style vehicle correct yeah, from the distance I saw it, it looked like it was black. Maybe it had chrome accents. I'm not 100% sure. 10-4. Um, I guess I'm going to check 68 in the surrounding area. If I don't see anything, then I'll let you know. Copy. Sounds good. Um, all right. So, 245. I approach the construction worker. What do they... Tell me. All right, they tell you a white guy with a really strong forehead drove up in an all black Taurus. I swung up further east on 60 as well. I haven't seen anything. Let the driver's seat tire and ran towards the dollar pills. A couple minutes later, a gray sports car pulled up, dropped off a guy in a white t shirt. He got in the car and drove off. All right, 310 to 22. I got a construction worker here. It's telling me that a white guy with a really strong forehead drove up in an all black Taurus and left the key on the driver's side tire. And then a gray sports car pulled up and dropped off a guy in a white t shirt. He got in the car and drove off. Tavor, I passed a gray Taurus like a minute ago going westbound towards Dollar Pills. I'm going to try to see if I can swing down there and find it. All right, so. I ask if they had ever seen any of the people before and if they saw what happened to the person that ran towards dollar pills. So this is uh, interesting. It's almost like a drop for the car. 
in a sense. So my car's still over there, so I'm not I'm not really sure what's going on with it. There's technically nothing wrong. I mean, you dropped off a car and you've given it to somebody else. Maybe you just don't want to see each other. The three ten or twenty two. The only thing else I have is uh, this construction worker thinks that the guy that dropped the car off might have been uh, a wanted individual from the WSU Facebook page. Ten four. I've got PC for stop based off window ten. If you want to roll this way, uh, looks like final stop's gonna be. 253 by the boathouse in that general area. 253, oh shit. Yeah, copy, I'll be in that. I'll head that way. Okay, so uh, our, cap our captain found the black tourist that took off, so we're going to meet up with him now. It's down by the, uh, close to the boathouse. So we're going to head that way and uh, we'll see uh, see what's going on with it. All right, we're just about on scene here. Should be up here to the to the right. No one's stopping for me. That's great. All right, they're right up here. I think our captain's driving a super badass charger right now, and he is. Three tangle twenty two on the scene. God, look at that! Oh, I love it. Um, let's run the plate. Said he had PC to stop it, so let's see what the plate says. Okay, do you have your driver's license for 13 rec 567. So, what's gonna is, uh, so let's do a plate search. 13 rec 567. Uh, should belong to a Thomas Shepard. Cars not reported stolen. This name sounds very familiar. No active warrants for Thomas Shepard. No revoke, no suspended. Active. Holy arrest warrants. Or not arrest warrants, but arrest, arrestable stuff. Arrest reports. Thank you. Felon. It's definitely a felon, but I don't see any warrants on the registered RO. I don't drink. Okay. Yeah, white t-shirt. Okay. Let's set tight. I'll be back with you in a second, okay? All right. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Good. I ran the plate. Um, registered vehicle comes back to an RO of Thomas Shepard. This vehicle? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, really? Yeah. Like with one P? Thomas Shepard? Yeah. 13. I, I literally just stopped somebody like a day ago by the name of Tom, Thomas Shepard. Yep, one P. Pr pretty recent. Okay. Yeah, got, Thomas um, Shepard's got a pretty extensive arrest uh, record. No, the dude's out on parole. I don't know how, but so. Yeah, I don't know either. Uh, this definitely isn't him, though. The driving. Okay. Um, so like I, the original reason is for the tent. Whenever he turned by me, it looked pretty dark, and honestly, still looks pretty dark. So, uh, I really wish we had a canine. Yeah, I agree. Let me try and call for it again. Right now. I'm gonna try and call for one again. Okay. All right. So he thinks he's gonna be in really strong possession of narcotics. Have you asked him like any further questions or anything? I haven't asked him anything yet, but this guy's got a rap sheet uh, with some arrests, and I'm I hope to God that he is on parole or on probation with some sort of search clause. As a, so get this, okay, and the whole reason, so the reason why whenever I perked up whenever you said Thomas Shepard, so number one, like picking up a vehicle like that's really strange in that location. I mean, it's not outside the realm of, you know, possibilities, but it's very strange. Right. And Thomas Shepard, I stopped him he had 50k in cash. Oh my gosh. Plus like a K on him. And the name sounds familiar too. I feel like he just recently ran from us to Thomas Shepard. And yeah, he, he, uh, a couple days ago, he said. And then he had like plastic baggies in a backpack, but they were new. There was no residue or anything. So I, like, I had no PC to go off anything off that. So 
I know he told me he used to run drugs before he went to jail, but I there, there was no there was nothing else. I had no other PC. So okay. this car is registered to Shepard. This guy's sweating his ass off whenever I make contact with him. He's very nervous. Okay. And uh, he has arrests as well. I'm gonna see what they're for. Okay. I'll go chat with him for a second. What's his uh, What's his name? Uh, Scott. Scott. Scott, how we doing? Oh, uh, uh, good. What's going on? Session Sean with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Just introducing myself. Uh, where are you coming from today? Uh, um, on 68. Coming from 68? Uh-huh. Okay. Right, and you able to tell me who this car is registered to? Um, yeah. And who's that? Uh, Thomas Shepard. Got a car just sunk into the ground. Where are you headed to today? I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. All right, does Mr. Shepard know that you have uh, the vehicle? Yeah. He does. How did you come to be in possession of the vehicle? I got it from him. Like from him directly, like he handed you the keys? Um, well, I picked it up. Okay, so you picked you picked it up. Where did you pick it up from? This is really sketchy. Where did I pick it up? Uh huh. Um, over there. Where, where's over there? Uh, at his house, man. Okay, where's his house at? Just so we know. You're asking a lot of questions. Am I under arrest or something? No, like, I mean, it, it's not your vehicle. You said you picked it up. We were just curious, like, where you picked it up from. Like, we take a 22. Can we get one yeah, more additional 32 stutter to us at okay. 253? So I noticed you got a recent charge for a felony. Are you, you uh, are you out on like parole or anything? I need one additional uh, 32 yeah. car at uh, 253. Well, like I said, like, two for, uh, two, uh, like conditions are released five, five, like, four, uh, on my own recognizance, yeah. Okay. So kind of like Thomas. Yeah, 3 Tango uh, 22 to 3 Charlie 554. When you get on scene, just park behind uh, my charger and stay so, in your vehicle. Uh, did they did they tell you anything about interactions with law enforcement or anything whenever you were I'm getting prepped because I don't know what's going no, on here. said I have to let my lawyer know if I have to, if I come in contact with law enforcement. Yeah. So technically, as of right now, as it stands, you're still considered a ward of the state, right? Um, with that being said, that means we have the right to search you and the vehicle that you're in possession of um, at any time whenever you come in contact with law enforcement, you know, even for the most basic traffic infractions, i.e. Um, a stop based off a window tent, you know what I'm saying? You, you're going to search my car because I had dark window tent? Uh, no, we're going to search your car because you are a ward of the state. You are released on your own recognizance on felony charges pending a, a parole release or whatever. All right, we got our 32 on scene like, now. Depending on I'm having him know, to stay in his car. Of it, I told him to stay in the car. A misdemeanor and he could go to parole or probation. Like, I mean, there's a number of things that can happen, but as, as it stands right now, if you're arrested for a felony. I'm just going to let him know. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Um, if you can just stay in your car and just, he's acting extremely nervous. So if you okay. just want to stay in your car in case anything happens is all. Yep. All right. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. So do you have, before, and before I get into, or we get into the search, I'd like to give you the opportunity. I know this isn't your vehicle, but is there anything on you or do you know of anything that might be in this vehicle that we would need to know about before we begin searching? Uh, no. Keep just doing a great job. Okay. So just do me a favor. Go ahead and turn the engine off. Is this a push button or does it have keys? It's got keys. Okay. Just do me a favor. Turn the keys off or yeah, turn the ignition off. Put the keys on the dash and go ahead and step out for me. 
Oh, he stepped out. All right. Come back here. You like my shirt? Pussy builds strong bones. Yeah, great. <laughs> no, do me a favor. Go ahead and face. Uh, actually, let's come back over here. Back behind my vehicle. All oh, right. So he's got the deputy is going to watch him, and I'm going to start searching uh, the car here. Or search the driver's seat here. See if we find anything. Nothing of interest in the driver's seat. All right. Looks in center. Console. Search back here. I opened my door by accident, so we'll uh, we'll search here, and then we'll do the trunk. Cell phone under driver's seat. All right, so we have a cell phone. We'll just see if it's open to any specific screen. If not, we'll leave it. But let him search. Got key for searching the trunk right now. See if anything, anything happens to that. Some backpack from other vehicle you stopped earlier and a spare tire and cover. Or it looks out of place. Bag is completely empty. All right, so we'll just pretend like this is his phone. Yeah, I got a phone here underneath the uh, driver's seat. All it says What's is up? it's got a text uh, from a T and it says, did you get it yet? We're gonna look at the VIN number. See if there's anything wrong with it at all. Looks like Kiefer's doing something with the spare tire back there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Finn is fine. All right, Finn's fine. Hey, deputy, with that subject going 15 in, please. Captain. What do you got? Uh, the spare tire isn't on the bead. I shoved my baton in there and like wedged it, and there's some baggies in this tire. Oh. So oh, that's not good. Nope. Uh, do you have any, narco uh, or a, a, a kit? Just me. I got like a little small baggie. Kit. Oh shit! You guys fishing? Ten seventy westbound marina. Two five four headed to Joshua. Thanks, guys. Want to run around? He took off. He tackled him. White over blue. I took a wrong turn. Twenty. Continuing, we're going to be across Joshua, heading into the desert, southbound. 255. Oh, no one stayed with the car. Going to be running up the hill now. Fuck. No one stayed with the car. I got to go back. Just off Joshua Pass, continuing up the hill. I got to go back with the car. Be headed to Joshua, uh, uh, Joshua Bypass over here. Two, five, I can't. I can't just leave this here. I did not touch his car. I had to go back here. We can see they're still chasing him. Joshua, wait. Two five six. Still chasing him. Got him. Ooh, they got him. They got him. Continue into the airfield, 256. Let's get this airfield and request an airfield to be shut down. All right, we're going to uh, get uh, our test kit while they're going after the guy, and we're going to test these drugs. Two, five, With how much, how many baggies, we're going to see if we can get investigations out this way for the car. All right, they got him down. They tackled him, so that's good. So we still have the car here. Everything's fine over here. No one was able to come and grab anything. And uh, we're going to try and get an investigation team out here. So dude dude ran. He hit the deputy, ran, but we got him. We're Tango 22. Do we have any uh, available investigations up in the county? Actually, I want to know 23. Five extra 109. If I can get you to 253 from the start of the 1070 for the vehicle, uh, we've got some uh, what appears to be narcotics that we'd like you to check out. Yeah, copy. I'll be there. All right, so we're going to stay here. Um, we've got an investigation uh, HP unit. He's going to come out, and uh, once he gets here, we'll see what's going on. All right, so we've got our trooper uh, investigative unit here on scene. How are we doing? 
I'm good. How about you? Doing all right. They got that uh, guy over there. Yeah, they got him. Yeah. So we we were searching his vehicle, um, and uh, Captain found the spare tire in the back, but it wasn't seated properly. Um, and he stuck his baton in there, and there's a bunch of baggies with the substance. Um, okay. And then once he Gotcha. Were you guys able to see what kind of drugs they were like, visibly? We, or? we weren't. That's We went on the radio and said to 1015 them, and our other deputy went to go do it, and I guess got tackled, and then that's when the 1070 started. So I've just been hanging out here. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and have a look and see what's there. So if you want if you want to check it out. Gotcha. Is it still in the trunk? or? Yeah, it's still in the trunk. Spare tire's still back here. Gotcha. Um. I don't know if you had a knife, you should be able to cut it open. You'll see all the baggies. Yeah. You just want to be able to tell me what it is and how much it is. Yep. I got you. Appreciate you. Son of a bitch. Yeah, did you get your exercise out there? Yeah, I tackled him. Oh, did you get him? You're the one who tackled? Yeah, I got him. Hell yeah. Good job. Let me see if I can... Anyway, uh, so he's going to be going for battery on uh, law bump. enforcement and possession have we got it tested yet uh there's not um investigative unit is uh looking at all of it right now i had the investigative Perfect. trooper come out and cut it open and start testing everything out okay all right do you, uh, you want to roll with me to question this guy yeah sure sounds good all right scott what the fuck man we were cool why'd you run that guy tried to put me in handcuffs. Yeah, because you're in, you're in you were gonna be detained because it looked like you had some uh, narcotics on you. So with that being said, do what now? Oh, never mind. Someone oh. uh, took part it. Took it. All right. Uh, so you have the right to remain silent. Uh, you have the right to an attorney present. Yeah, we got a warrant services unit here too with them. Pointed to you by the state. Do you understand these rights? They've been read to you. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off by going over uh, your potential tr well uh, charges and What's potential charges. So this we have a good. potential charge of uh, possession of narcotics. The schedule is to be determined based off of what comes back, if anything, on testing. Number two, you've got battery on law enforcement because you tackled one of my deputies, which I don't appreciate, and you have uh, evading arrest so uh, those are the three charges as of right now uh, there could be more or less depending on the circumstances so um, we received a 911 call that a vehicle matching this exact description was picked up by uh, an individual over by the oil pumps off of Route 68 okay um, this vehicle also subsequently comes back to uh, Thomas Shepard I, I actually personally stopped Thomas Shepard a day or two ago um and he had a large sum of cash and baggies on him right and then now we're finding these narcotics in this vehicle that's registered to thomas shepherd so well, he's not involved he, he's not involved i mean come no on, he's dude. not he's not involved listen i was just no. borrowing the car you, man i was just tell, borrowing the car. just come clean i was just come borrowing clean. the car i was just borrowing this the car. isn't I'm not a spring chicken, okay? Like, I didn't fall off the turnip truck hey, yesterday. Hey, I know hey. exactly what's going on here. So this is your opportunity to help and cooperate with us. Because the more you he's help and cooperate not not with us, the more I can pass the information off to the DA, and the more DA is favorably going to look upon you as in regards to charges and more leniency working with you. So this is your opportunity to come completely clean and let me know exactly what's going on here. I mean, because as of right now, you're going to take the ride for everything, so. I told you, dude, he's not involved. He's not involved at all. No, 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 no. So on were me. you the buddy that he dropped plastic bag or baggies off to? Yes, yes. Uh huh. Okay, so why are you using his car? Uh, I was Aren't buying it. Mine's in the car? shop. Mine's in the shop. In the shop? So then let's back up a little bit more. Where did you get the car from? Where did I get the car from? I, I told you, I borrowed it from him. Yeah, so when you took possession of the car, where was that? I had a buddy drop it off. 
Uh, see, earlier you told us you picked it up from his residence, so you're you're lying. And you're saying that a buddy dropped it off still doesn't answer the question of where it was when you took possession of the car. I don't know, man. You gonna stick with that? You already told you, me where you got the car. You already told me where I got the car. You know where I got the car. Yeah, I, this is. I'm trying to get you to be honest, man. I already. I'm, that's me telling you that I already know. I'm just telling you, he's not involved, bro. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm just letting you know, man. That you know, you're gonna have to. You're gonna be taking this on the chin, you know. And I don't. I don't know. You know, to Mr. Shepard may not be involved, but the. Oh, the circumstances right back, are very peculiar. Yeah, you're good. I'm going to have him fingerprint that peculiar. spare tire. Hey, would you be able to do me another favor with that spare tire? Yeah, what's up? Would you be able to dust it for fingerprints? Yeah, I definitely can do that. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so also, I just got some information for you, actually. Sure. Um, looks like we're going to have 30 bags of cocaine and 30 bags of heroin. They're each about a gram, so... 30 times 30, I guess. Or not 30 times 30, but 30 plus 30 and then... So 60 yeah, grams of narcotics, in a sense. Yep. And then, you said cocaine and... What was the other one? Heroin? Heroin, yeah. There's 30 of each. Okay. And then I'll get the fingerprints for you. All right, perfect. The Thank you. The fingerprints might take a bit, though, because I do got to send those off to a lab. Yeah, that's fine. All right. As long as it just kind of helps us who all touch that tire. So... Because we shouldn't have any from us because we wore gloves when we searched it. And I see you have some on right now, yeah, too. Yeah, So. Yep. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. All right. So I got the investigative unit. He's going to um, check the spare tire for fingerprints okay. as well. Um, but he tested everything. He's got about 30, 60 bags in total, gram each, 30 bags of cocaine, and 30 bags of heroin. Yes, I lost walking Jesus, bridges. fuck. Yeah, so huge bust. And uh, I mean, if he's wanting to, I guess, take the rap for everything, then he's going to. Yeah, he's just not rolling on anybody. How can I watch so. my head? That is a my lot of narcotics. Yeah, it's a, a ton. Off the streets. Definitely the, the way it's packaged is intent to sell as well. Oh, I thought you were saying like, Perfect. watch my head. You know, and there's nothing to say that that wasn't picked up after he picked up the car. So he wants to roll with that story. Some good work there, man. Yeah, you too. Appreciate a good tackle. <laughs> right. Oh, I love Keeper. Your, Keeper's uh, great. Suspects in uh, the gold charger. Perfect. Uh, well, we. Oh, that's my charger. Transport over here, but you can go back to eight now. All right. All right. Um. Let me look some shit up real quick. Sure. All right, so he's in my charger. Uh, Kiefer doesn't have a cage. Warrant services unit is going there. I think they're both going back 10-8, and then we'll see. Uh, the 14 okay. charger looks great on you. Hey, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Prowling in the bushes. I'm just waiting on the... I'm trying to dust around, but how much I'm yeah. seeing right now. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate uh, you taking the time to help us out. Yeah, of course, man. So it looks like I'm getting some prints on here, and then I'll just send these off to the lab, and they should be able to identify those and tell me who they'll come back to. All right, perfect. I appreciate that. Of course. All right. Well, I'll take it up to Sandy, and this shit could be pretty fast, so... All right. And then are you taking all of the narcotic stuff, too? Um, if you want me to, yeah, I can definitely take them. Yeah, if you just want to take it, and then we'll uh, just attach that file to uh, his arrest report. Gotcha. All right. Perfect. All right. Thank you, sir. Do you need anything from my side or um, documents? Nope. I think uh, I think we're good. All right. If you just want to look all those in evidence, would be good. Yep. Appreciate Perfect. it. Perfect. Thank you. We'll uh, we'll go uh, take him to the station here and start getting them processed. And out the street. So ultimately, I mean, huge bust. So whoever that uh, local caller was that kind of told what was going on. And then this guy apparently didn't drive good enough and got probable cause to stop him. And then him being probationary or on probation. Got him out of the vehicle, did a search, found what we needed to find. And he got scared. And, you know, just everything he was giving about being nervous just kind of screwed everything up for him. And he doesn't want to give anybody up, so he's going to take the full wrap on everything, and we're going to go from there. 
This ain't my first rodeo, cowboy. Uh, Alrighty. Well, uh, Alright, I'll figured. let you know everything here in a second. Okay. Hey, uh, they still need people down there in the Santos for that escort or whatever they're doing down there. Uh, <laughs> he definitely knows. He knows exactly where to go. Do you like my shirt? I, uh, I do. Plus, he builds strong bones. I, I forgot how to read. I it. forgot as well. I'm colorblind. Okay. <laughs> You're colorblind? <laughs> oh, shit. He is bringing the conversation here. Let's go. My man. Open the door. <laughs> Open the door. Come on, figure out how to get through the door, big man. There we Let's go. Come on. All right. So. Read the charges. Well, he's doing As of right that. now, you're going to be charged with Title t Title Six, Section One, so. is possession of um, an illegal controlled substance. What was it? it in a of the, the, the narcotics you were in possession of were a Schedule One narcotics, so that's going to make it a one. Class C felony. Felony. Uh, you're also in possession of a controlled substance with an intent to sell, based off the fact that they were prepackaged and ready right, for so distribution. Right. So Six One. Wait, gonna I'm going to be a felon six, now. Section Two. Uh, it's a class A misdemeanor. Well, I mean, you have felony charges on your record, so you're already a felon. Uh, um, what? <laughs> you're, you're already gonna a felon. have a Title One, Section Nine, Class C felony of battery on a law enforcement officer, government mm. employee. Well, nine. I'm just gonna type them in as we go. Tackling my deputy, and you are also gonna have Title Eight, Section Thirty Two for evasion of a peace officer. That is gonna be a class A misdemeanor. Man, y'all just really throwing the book at me. I can't get I a summons. Literally, yeah, is, I can't get a summons. I'm not even gonna cite you for the window tent. <laughs> Thanks. So, I mean, I could throw the book at you more, but I'm not can going I get a, to. Can I get a summons? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's going to be a no. All right. Looks like so. Kenny's uh, transport's here for them. What's that? County transport's here for them. Okay. All right, Scott. So that's, that's a nope on the summons. That's a nope on the summons. You're going to, you're definitely going to jail. Oh, wait, what was it he asked for? A summons. You believe this guy? <laughs> a summons? Yeah, well, they took him. <laughs> okay. You, I'll let you. Okay. Know. Okay. <laughs> we good? Okay. Uh, so that was a badass bust. That was so, very good. That was huge. What? That was huge. Oh, yeah, it was oh, yeah. huge. 60 grams. So that was a lot of... 60 grams of narcotics. Streets. With half of it being heroin, that's extremely expensive. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to oh, see if we can get an updated everybody. address on Kyle. And then I would maybe. definitely pursue your investigative... Or investigation on the two other Yahoo's prints that you found. Well, one of yeah, one of the prints was who we just got oh, sent Oh, I mean, the one other set. My yeah. bad. Yeah, Kyle yeah. Doherty. Or Doherty. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good job, guys. Yeah. Yep. I'll let you Very guys good. know if I manage to get a address on the guy. All right. Sounds, sounds good. good. All right. Appreciate you. Take, care. take it easy.